Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the introduction to finite automata in automata theory. So in the previous session, we have seen what is the automata and uh, now we'll see the finite automata. So automata is a mathematical model or an abstract machine and developing that abstract machine or building a model with a finite number of states is called the finite automata. So build a model in finite number of steps steps or here we call it as a states okay so by giving one input the state will be changed from one to another so here everything will be considered with in terms of states right so building a model in a finite number of states is called finite automata right now and this finite automata is divided into two categories so finite automata is divided into two categories one is dfa so fa stands for finite automata and here it is a n f e so dfa means deterministic finite automata and NFA means non-deterministic finite automata right so the finite automata is classified into two categories DFA and NFA so by default, the finite automata will be considered as a DFA. Okay. Now we'll see the definitions for this uh, DFA and NFA. So the finite automata, so by default, it will be the DFA, right? This finite automata is defined as phi tuple, phi tuple or tuple with, with five elements, tuple with five elements so both both are same so dfa is same and nfa definitions are same so both are represented by using the tuple with the five elements so there is a slight difference between the nfa and the dfa that is on the transitions so before going to the definition in deep so let us see the states and transitions here the machine or the automata can be constructed with the help of a states so here a state is represented as circuit with a state name with a state name okay and so this simply we can say yes see so this is a circuit with a q naught is a state name and initial state initial state so before going to the initial state we'll go with the transition right so transition so here the transition means so the edge between two states edge between two states and this is a directed edge directed edge that means we have to give the direction if you give this edge right so here you can see let us uh, assume that q0 and q1 are different states so this is called edge uh, sorry the, the, this is called the transition and this transition will be applied whenever you give some inputs so in the previous session we have seen the terminologies so in that we have seen the alphabet so alphabet will be having a symbols so we have to use the transition 
so it will change its state the process will change its state for every symbol in the alphabet right so edges between two states and initial state so this is state with an edge edge from no source so there will be no source but there will be an edge that is called as initial state so for example you, you consider q not and if there is an edge without source here there is no source but there is an edge so this is called initial state and final state final state so final state is generally represented as a two circle that means a double circle with a straight name so it is represented as a double circle with straight name For example, let it be Q F. So it is represented as double circle with a state name. Here Q F is a state. Okay, final state. There's some state. So these are the general representations. A state will be represented as circle with the state name. Initial state, a circle with an edge without source, from no source. And transition is an edge between two states. Edge. That is also a directed edge. So we should give the arrow mark. So from where it was flowing. So this implies a process will change this one state to another state for every input symbol, for every input symbol over the alphabet. And final state, so Q and F. And one important point is, so this finite automata will be having only one initial state only one initial state and multiple final states so our finite automata can have only one sing initial state so from only single path it should start and it will be having a multiple final states it may have or may not have so we have to construct the finite automata we have to construct the finite automata now let us see this finite automata is represented in two ways this finite automata can be represented by using a directed graph a directed graph with the states with the states and the second one is transition table transition table and this directed graph can also be known as transition diagram transition diagram and in this diagram the process will change its state based upon the input symbol so for example so there is a q0 and there is a q1 and a final state and this is the initial state and upon a 0 or a 1 or you can simply use as this is a 0 and this is a 1 and upon here it's a 1 right and here again go with a 0 so some sort of a transition diagram right some sort of transition diagram so you can see so q0 so here 0 1 are nothing but a input symbols and here q0 and q1 are the states and you can see q0 is having this uh, transition without any source so that's why this is called an initial state and a q1 is represented in a double circle so this is called the final state and if you are having a one more state with a double circle so that implies this the transition diagram is having two different states final states but the diagram should have only one initial state so upon the input symbols the state will be changing its position the process will be changing its position from one state to another state right so this is the normally the transition diagram and coming to the transition table so you can represent it in rows and columns so take the columns as a input symbols 
and take the states uh, uh, as a rows q0 and q1 so you can simply fill this table based upon this diagram so q0 on 0 so q0 on 0 it moves to q0 itself and q0 on 1 it moves it changes its states to q1 q1 on 0 it remains in the same state and q1 on 1 and it again moves to the q0 right so this is the transition table for this finite automata so a finite automata can be represented in two different ways. One is a transition diagram and transition table. And what are the five states or five tuples for this finite automata? So it can be the deterministic finite automata or non-deterministic finite automata. So the finite automata is defined as a tuple of five elements, a tuple of five elements. So let us check these elements. So first one is represented as a Q and second one is represented as a Sigma and third one is represented as a Do. Fourth one is represented as a Q0. Fifth one is represented as a F. Right? And here Q stands for set of all states. Set of all states which are involved in the transition diagram. And sigma, we know the sigma. Sigma means the input symbols, right? So this is an input symbols. Input symbols. And next, do. Do is a transition function. Transition function. So that means, so when the state changes from one to another, which input? For which input the state is changing? So for every transition, we have to write this transition function. And then the Q0 is nothing but initial state. Initial state. And here the state name can be anything. So we can follow that uh, Q0, Q1, Q2 as a states, right? So this is my terminology. So you can use any, any other symbols, right? First giving the state name. So the last one is a EF, which is nothing but set of final states a set of final states so this is the finite automata the definition of finite automata so it is defined as the elements the five tuple or the tuple of five elements one is a q sigma do uh, q naught and f where q is a set of all states so while drawing the transition diagram we are going to use a number of states so we have to represent all those states in the set and a sigma what are the input symbols we are going to use for each and every set and do is a transition function so what are the transitions from initial state to final state and a q naught that's the initial state what is the initial state and that should be only one and f is a set of final states so one i mean the finite automate can, can have a multiple final state and we have to represent all those finite states in a set format so this is called the finite automata and by default it is represented as a DFA. This is also known as a DFA and there is a slight difference between DFA and NFA. So that is on the transition function. So this transition function will be different for NFA and DFA. All the remaining are same. So, so Q, Sigma, Q0 and F all these four are same but only difference is on transition function for DFA and NFA. So, hope you understood this definition of uh, finite automata and in the next session we will see the differences between the DFA and NFA with a small example, right? Yeah. So, let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubt regarding this session, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.